Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Gerald Panatin from Prophecy Developments. How are you today? Very good, thank you yourself. And allow me to correct myself, it's Prophecy Development Corp, is that correct? Yes, Prophecy Development Corporation. And Prophecy Development Corporation, their mandate is to seek Vanadium properties that are conflict-free areas in the planet, is that correct? Well, I, I think uh, Vanadium is definitely uh, a good timing to get involved in Venetium, but also you would not see myself if I was to be in a conflict area. I've uh, spent most of my career in conflict area when I was working with Barry Gold for many area, for many years, and I definitely prefer to be uh, either in Canada or the U.S. So that's a great segue for asking you, with your significant professional career, you've just accepted the role as a CEO and president for Prophecy Development. Can you tell me why you would take this role at this point in your career? Uh, we as shareholders, we want to know, Gerald. It's very simple. Uh, I am a shareholder too. But more, more, more than importantly is that I've already built three mines during my career, two at Barrick, and one with the Detour Lake project. And um, you don't join a company because you just want to join a company. There must be a reason. And the main reason is that prophecy development or PCY ticker is undervalued, tremendously undervalued compared to the value of the Venetian deposit. Of course, it's subject to Venetian price. All right, so let's discuss vanadium prices. For those of you out at Investor Intel who are not familiar with how hot vanadium is right now, you should check our, our trending section. Vanadium continues to be one of the most well-read topics that we're covering presently. And there's not a lot of real players out there in the vanadium market, are there, Gerald? No, mainly 50% uh, of the production comes out of China. 10% uh, South Africa, 10% Brazil, and maybe 10, 15%. And there are two types of, of deposit that uh, will produce vanadium. And the one we have at Gibellini is one of the easiest one compared to all the others. And of uh, course, you just made an announcement about the Gibellini uh, with an MOU with the uh, Bureau of Land Management. Can you provide us with some highlights from that news release? Uh, with the recent election of uh, the Republican being in power in the U.S., there is an Article 3335 that is very important for BLM to apply, which means every project that has a notice of intent, which means you complete all the baseline studies, or for us it's the gap analysis from the last uh, predecessor, we have 12 months basically to, uh, to provide an environmental report with consultation and approved by BLM Nevada. In the MOU, it's a understanding to help each other achieve this target. And if necessary, Prophecy will help pay for some consultant to review the process. Well, now that you are uh, leading, leading the company, leading Prophecy Development, can you tell us where you plan on focusing your energies next? Uh, twofold. Uh, the first one is our gap line or gap analysis of all the baseline study that were initiated some time ago by our predecessor. And what we need to do is complete those by September of next year. That's our target. We also uh, initiating our engineering procurement uh, construction management uh, uh, that we want to start. As you know, once you finish a feasibility study, you need them to start engineering and procurement, which means detail engineering, drawing, and purchases of equipment. These, the process of permitting environment is two years. So we need to be ready to start building the mine in two years from now. So is it too late to get involved in a vanadium exploration play, Gerald, or what would you recommend for investors out there looking at this market? I took a month to evaluate coming with Prophecy. Actually, my first intention was to purchase the property from them. This is probably one of the best opportunity of industrial minerals that exists in a safe jurisdiction, talking about Canada or the US. Uh, Venetium went from $10 to $28 a pound. 
there's a significant reason for that uh, increase in the price. China construction code is changing from putting 300 gram per ton of steel to 600 gram per ton of steel. And as we know, China is still booming at 6-7% GDP. There's no question in my mind that Venezium may not stay at 28 or 30 or 40 dollars, but with our break-even cost at six dollars a pound, there's a long way before we suffer the pain of a of a down price. Well, Gerald, congratulations on becoming the new president and CEO for Prophecy Development, and we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you very much.